Alright, we see now, my mother and I see some good influence on TV. I saw him from now, and now, and a parliament, a quarter to now. Then they show down the Siapa, the Parliament of Ghana. In fact, Speaker as as Tommy, the Supreme Court now the same year today. What did Madam Tokunu Justice, Chief Justice, say? Say or no? And we see Speaker of Parliament. Until or no? Until we see the Nigeria. Dewa wensi enye ne juma insi mfa. Abusi ya. Sisi ya menoka se. Sisi ya mpipi fwa. Omu 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 poeti na. Ya finishi na. Ya uye uye poeti na. Omu po omu po poeti ni yoguno. Omu po omu po omu po omu po position. Yes. There is no debate about it. Sisi ya mpipi fwa ko position. Biko asa atina wa sisi ya menoka se. Poeti na aye so hopeless. And poeti na aye so um um devastated and you know i am so what i don't know the way they mean you so i am frustrated to the stand say and then on one casa on one members of parliament to call on one thing that don't move because of free you see me koha of free you see me koha because you see i didn't know on one who say a pasca and to do you know what members of parliament you know on more pressure on bed on be able to secure the seat because you see i'm not going to say on one who said the presidential elections and boomia at their war and there's no way boomia ever really it will come out under our watch there is no way up boomia a be secure that 50 plus one vote under ghanian's watch it will never happen in fact you were speaker of parliament alban smina babin Open ni pa pa bi edi simbi atu ga. Na uti e se mlu rane e kanote yusu uwewe o ni mde. Uwewe se bi o nyansa, fi e nyansa. E no wo e ye sku musu nyansa. E na se bi o di e bobra. In fact, o nye ti bon koso. O kasa e nko futi. Men pese me kase bi bi yanko. Ni nko ti di speaker of parliament. Albans Maina Babin. And some of the two ga no. In fact, e nye se mketwa. Na uti ya, ube wu se san se mwe diye. Chief Justice, you know, only the only thing I saw, the only thing is that the same way I go every morning. I'm going to put Israel. I'm going to put Speaker Albans, my na Babin, and some of the two Edgar. Now, and they, mummy, in a few days, we said big showdown for a because of our Parliament because today is on the seventh of November, twenty twenty-four, and a big showdown, big showdown. I'm going to put put showdown, chichirin chepa, and a because of our Parliament. What you say? Because Parliamentarians, NDC caucus in Parliament, classified as majority. They are not going to give up. They are going to fight for their majority. A yes, position in Parliament. What you say? The MPP for no. They should find their way. Yanko, na yinko ti. A speaker album babi. Some of the two. The message also do comment beton. While I kid my dinner was saying I for any be it. It in Asia. But more than that, I subscribe to the channel for latest updates. Minu ya bima revival man. The link in our comment section. Ko na ko e din ko subscribe. Next to me, name me on all the digital platforms, including a yes sound. SoundCloud, Boomplay, uh, AudioMac, and the other streaming platforms. And I think I'm going to be And I'll do all I can to be as brief as possible. Beloved guardians, Democracy will work only if we fight for it, says President Barack Obama of the United States. I swore an oath to uphold, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana. And that I will do right to all manner of persons in accordance with the Constitution and the laws and conventions of Parliament without fear or favor, affection, or ill will. I concluded the swearing of the oath with a call on God to help me. I'm very confident and have faith in God to see me through these dark days of Ghana and our young democracy. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I want to start this presser by disabusing and setting the minds of Ghanaians at ease. There is no constitutional crisis in this country. I repeat, there is no constitutional crisis in this country. The Parliament of Ghana is alive and working. Let nobody mislead, misinform, or disinform you and the country. The democratic system we adopted and enacted as captured in the Constitution, 1992, and fleshed out in various laws, processes, procedures, and practices, is what has been triggered, and it is working. Let us allow it to work. Democracy is about the rule of law. Let the law work. The democratic system we adopted and enacted recognizes that in the course of operationalizing the system, disagreements will occur and challenges and problems will arise. The system has put in place mechanisms, structures, and institutions. Um, sir, network. Parliament is alive and working. It has not been dissolved, prorogued, prohibited, suspended, or terminated. The plenary sitting and meetings of Parliament were adjourned indefinitely due to lack of quorum to take decisions created by a workout staged by the MPP members who were available as a result of a disagreement. The cause of the disagreement, which led to a disorder, had to be resolved with time and engagement of many more leaders than those in Parliament. The adjournment was done by the lawful authority, the Speaker of Parliament, let us stop pressing the panic buttons and fear mongering and allow the system to work. Anger and indecent language rather inflames the situation. There can be tolerance, discipline, collaboration, the love for one another, and consensus building. Ladies and gentlemen, one may ask, what led to this disagreement? Following a statement by Honorable Dr. Kinsel Atuba Forsen on a matter he considered to be of urgent public importance on the 15th of October, 2024, and comments thereof by other members, as permitted by the standing orders of Parliament, I communicated the findings of my inquiry into the matter as the Speaker of House on the 17th of October 2024, the contents of which has been construed to be a ruling. The Honorable Alexander Afeno Marke disagreed vehemently with the contents of my communication as the Speaker of Parliament and proceeded to advance an earlier action he had commenced in the Supreme Court on the 15th of October 2024 to prevent the Speaker of Parliament from receiving and making any pronouncement in, on the subject matter of the State Speaker of Parliament. Making any pronouncement in, on the subject matter of the statement case at October 1st until the final December 
by the Supreme Court. The rest we see. Ladies and gentlemen, in my official capacity, I am mindful, but it must be said, it still exists, not just legal questions, but more has profound implications for our democratic sense. At its core is the very democracy. Many legal arguments have been advanced of the court. I recognize that the political and governance implications have not been addressed sufficiently to enrich the national discourse. It is my considered view this should also be vigorously articulated to give as one of the protagonists in this matter and a long-time practitioner, it will be a disservice not to respectfully draw your attention to some of the facts, principles, and ethics of politics and governance, the practice and procedures of parliament, and what is generally referred to as parliamentary law, to throw light on some aspects of the matter and to clarify the considerations that underpinned my actions. The current brouhaha may be likened to a power play between the arms of government and it has the potential to undermine our democracy, to undermine our democracy, authority of parliament. Its outcomes, constitutional order, the democratic system have toiled, sacrificed their lives, and shed blood for decades. Theory. And executive, and I see them as interference in the workings of parliament, pose a direct challenge to the essence, jurisdiction, authority, powers, and functioning of the esteemed institution of parliament which is the repository of the sovereign will of the people of Ghana. It is increasingly becoming clear the judiciary and the executive are seemingly colluding to weaken parliament. The decision of the Ghanaian voters in the 2020 presidential and parliamentary elections, it's clear and loud to all discerning people. The decision is obviously a preference for a consensual and collaborative governance to a winner-take-all government. The majoritarian system of parliament, where the minority have a say but the majority have its way was rejected by the voters. But the, the was rejected for inclusivity, collaboration, consensus building, leaving nobody behind. The equal representation of the two major parties in Ghana, resulting in the composition of a hung parliament to the voters is the better way forward for our dear nation. The expectation of the voters is this will lead to the constitution of a parliament where the national interest will prevail as against partisan or parochial interests. This is the context and the peculiar situation I have to preside over as a speaker. I'm the first speaker in the Fourth Republic, in fact, in the history of Ghana, to work with a president who belongs to a different party, to work 
without a majority party in parliament, but with an evenly divided parliament, 137, 137 apiece. That is a hung parliament. Decision making has therefore not been smooth sailing. As the Speaker of Parliament, I hold the balance in favor of the national interest. But sometimes, bend backwards to accede to government requests because government has been given the mandate to govern. It is with this understanding I led the board of the parliamentary service and members of parliament to provide procedural rules of engagement of an independent president to form a government. Somebody who contests as we have now as an independent presidential candidate can be elected by the voters as the president of Ghana. How is he going to work with parliament to get his or her business, that is government business, approved by parliament? We have a possibility of a minority government where the voters vote for the president, but he has less members of parliament. And that is a minority government. How is he going to get the majority members of parliament to always approve his business for him to govern the nation? We can also have a coalition or a major of parties government. And the familiar one we know is a majority government. These are possible governments constitutionally guaranteed in Ghana. In the current hung parliament, the new standing orders of parliament had to cater for such a government by a number of provisions in the standing orders. We also provided provisions for all the other options of government that I just explained. For instance, a day which we called a decision day has been designated in the new standing orders where the speaker in consultation with the leadership of the house will set aside to allow members of parliament who are ministers and deputy ministers the opportunity to be present in parliament to be counted in support of government position to ensure government business does not suffer for lack of government members of parliament in parliament. Despite the above, often the number of government members present still don't add up due to the nature of the duties and responsibilities of ministers and deputy ministers. The NDC members of parliament, however, understood the situation and on a daily basis cooperated with the MPP members of parliament to see government business through. In spite of this, the NDC members are said to be saboteurs of government business by the MPP members of parliament and the followers of the new patriotic party. Those of you who cover proceedings on a daily basis are witnesses to how sometimes I have looked 
are the members of the NDC in a very stern manner, which made them give in to their objections, just to get government business going. Ladies and gentlemen, the powers of the judiciary ends where the nose of parliament starts. The Constitution is very clear on freedom of speech and of proceedings of parliament. Articles 115 and 116 grant members of parliament privileges and immunities of speech, debates, and proceedings on any matter or thing brought by a member in or before parliament by petition, bill, motion, or otherwise. And I want to quote the two articles to you. Article 115. There shall be freedom of speech, debate, and proceedings in parliament. And that freedom shall not be impeached or questioned in any court or place out of parliament. Article 1 one says, subject to the provisions of this article, but without prejudice to the general effect of Article 115 of this constitution, civil or criminal proceedings shall not be initiated against a member of parliament in any court or place out of parliament for any matter or thing brought by him in or before parliament by petition, bill, motion, or otherwise. This means happiness in parliament must remain in parliament. So the court must and has always been hesitant to interfere in the proceedings and decisions of parliament. In the celebrated case of Tufua versus the Attorney General, the Supreme Court affirmed that happiness in parliament are a closed book. Despite these provisions, the courts are replete with debates and proceedings of parliament. Most worrying is these proceedings are initiated by some members of parliament, even leaders of parliament who ought to know better. Parliamentarians who are to be loyal to parliament rather than to the Supreme Court run to the Supreme Court at the slightest opportunity to use the Supreme Court to undermine parliament. This might be one of the reasons parliament and members of parliament are not respected and treated with disdain. This was exhibited by the president's refusal to even receive the LGBTQ plus bill, duly processed and passed by parliament without any legal basis. The judiciary is supported of this conduct by the receipt and processing of a suit on this subject matter. These are dangerous precedents in our democratic journey. Both the president and the judiciary have sinned against the constitution and must seek the opportunity to confess and repent to be forgiven. I am confident the battles we are fighting today 
will make our democracy stronger and more vibrant in the future. I believe in the supremacy of the Constitution. Mark my words, the supremacy of the Constitution, not the supremacy of the judiciary or Supreme Court. I also believe in a vibrant parliament that is respected and accorded its due on political questions as long established by law and decided cases. A parliament that understands, reflects, and embodies the will of the people and defends its constitutional prerogatives only works in the interest of Ghana and Ghanaians. Not a rubber stamp parliament subservient to the whims and caprices of the executive and or the judiciary. Again, I strongly believe that parliament was one of the institutions President Barack Obama had in mind when he opined while in Ghana in 2009 that Africa needs strong institutions and not strong men. I'm happy he didn't add women. <laughs> Parliament must be strong to perform its legislative function and the indispensable function of holding the president to account. That is the oversight function. No other person or body has the gravitas and constitutional mandate to do so in Ghana. The public, media, civil society, and other partners in governance can make constructive inputs and criticize actions and omissions of arms of government. But these bodies are not constitutionally and legally structured and mandated to hold the executive to account. Parliament is elected. It is, at its best, the will of the people, legally and constitutionally structured and mandated to do so. Ladies and gentlemen, my dream, therefore, is a patriotic one. The existence of a firm, effective, efficient, and responsive parliament yes, ahead of narrow partisan or personal interests. At last, this is yet to materialize in Ghana. Parliament weakens itself when its members keep running to our courts to settle or seek favorable determinations of not just legal matters, but essentially political and governance questions. It is my strong belief the matter before the Supreme Court can be settled within Parliament through matured deliberations and compromises. Please, make no mistake. Not all the strong men President Obama warned us about come in military uniforms. Some come dressed in suits. I hope in my lifetime, Ghana shall have a parliament and a speaker who are truly independent from Jubilee or Flasher House or any headquarters in the conduct of parliamentary business. Let me state unequivocally, parliament owes its duty to the people who established and elected its members to serve and represent them. The wheels of parliament will continue to turn and no person will be allowed to disrupt parliamentary proceedings or to undermine 
the democratic mandate of parliament. When I ruled in January 2021 on the issue of which side constitutes majority and minority in parliament, the ruling was in favor of the majority group then. It was not an act of lawlessness as to cause constitutional crisis. When I ruled in the matter of the vacation of seats by Honorable Kennedy Ajapon, Honorable Henry Corti, and Honorable Sarah Ajua Safo, the question of the interpretation of the constitution was not raised. When my predecessor declared the formula seat vacant in 2020, applying the same provisions of Article 97, the original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court to interpret and enforce provisions of the Constitution was not invoked. Peace reigned in these instances, and nobody cried and ran to the Supreme Court under the guise of constitutional interpretation. If I may ask, is it a legal matter for the Supreme Court to decide as to which side of the House constitute the majority or minority? It is for good reason that justice is said to be blind. And further, that justice must not only be done, but must be seen to be done in all cases not in only those cases to which some people appear to be sentimentally attached. Fellow Ghanaians, I respectfully call on the Supreme Court to apply the same swiftness with which the motion ex parte in the Eastern matter was granted to the case involving the President's refusal to receive the Human Rights and Family Values Bill passed by Parliament which has been pending before the same court for almost a year would have been heard. Ladies and gentlemen, consistency is not just an ideal, but the foundation of life. The court cannot enjoin four members of parliament from serving their constituents for 12 weeks, but was very eager to deny the constituents of Asin North their representation because of the issue of allegiance. The court cannot deny the constituents of Sal the sanctity of representation for years. The court cannot even see that the constitution itself permits a denial of representation within three months to the holding of a general election. It's in the Constitution. Ladies and gentlemen, the Parliament of Ghana shall commence sitting as by law prescribed from tomorrow, November 7th, 2024. I have earlier instructed the clerk to Parliament to transmit the LGBTQ plus bill to the president for assent. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, finally, I'm aware of the business the government wants to transact through parliament. And I'm willing to cooperate and collaborate with government. That's all, this, despite all that I have said, Ghana first. And all Ghanaians should bear the president, parliament, the judiciary, and all our leaders in prayer for the betterment of our people and country. With this, I thank you all for your attention. Assalamu alaikum. Ah, a wee yo, a wee yo, a wee yo. 
nebisi ya na wa MPP enti muni a ewe yo ewe yo nebisi ya na wa MPP enti muni MPP four kuzi zizi muka sapa bubu bubu muka sa muka sapa muka sapa ene muhu smoothness level with opposition na muma command with opposition ena muka sa Oh, eh, MPP, NDC for my bomb. Oh, NDC for my say. NDC for I say. And I'm going to say, I'm going to drag NDC for a Ghana for a tall Muslim. A tall Ghana for a son. And a Ghana for say, oh, sir. And the NDC for. And yes, she said, the Edwin, who may inform me, see, change. Now, young Kofa, MPP, bra. Now, I'm going to say, because you will be a friend who economic misaya. You will be a friend who economic CEO. You will be a friend who economic. Yeah, eh, eh. What can I say? A brand new crop born with the video economic risk it economic. Eh, eh. So I could hear just a bing. Any more who will be? Bomiya. Any more who will be? And then one case campaign. No, say any baby a ngao. Campaign we, eka usi constituency biya ose omo chuo tena sime mubisa ose hey dollar no e deng ene bedri sa brewi wenye kuashi pope biya mfanya no ose udu kwa himfi no muto two tables no muto shewe chima kusu udintro wo wo unchuo udinti no wenye hiye be affecti the gen the generation because the 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 future generation our mobile politics because we're doing say oh you're banning your counter at the end of the day no Ghana for be for yeah my you're banning be this can be a after you're in time you're crying you're be child you're counter at this can be that generational you know eh 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 lies no if you're back out boomia and throw with the you see boomia or throw for Muhammad Bomiya, we are truthful. You are super incompetent. Ebini yemvim, I'm telling you, me say, MPP for whom you pay the whom the whole position. MPP for if you like it or not, we will take you to position. We will whom you pay the whom the whole because you see, no, the ayah mudi mani to sona election na ayah mudi kapuliti ne ene afeli Harris. Any Biden, any the Democrats, a Democratic Party, no, and no more opposition. They are comfortably waiting for MPP to come and join them, because you know, say Joe Biden, Uncle Bill, that's no good for Uncle Bill. Harris, he say, Ebia Obesina, I contest Bill in next a year four years because our chance, we need to be our chance. Which me, it is likely say which me a flag bearer, no. And I think this is equal one a flag bearer, the man, the 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 Democratic Party. It is next four years, and we will be contesting. In the bottom, so it be next four years. On base is ano. The man changing because we are born, we are born. The poor in them boy, we have no clue on your flag bearer will be the. Ah, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. We on your flag bearer will be the. But this is fine. So in case, in the party, no, it's a odd flag bearer. It's a crime. It will be changed, you know. Ma ku be kof bo miya sa in ma ku ako eh si si fin a sa in ne pou because ono nim kasa o di pe ti ni ni ma ebe e e bradin ko fo ni future he MPP ko fo MPP pe ni professor du bwa hi MPP pe ni na debi ya me kamin fa bile ni mo bi ya a ku fa du na se pe ti na se ku fa du ko position na mo eh oko oko na humi jima mu wa simbi ya mungu kufadu fiye chibi na mungu kanchile no because ya kufadu na se mpipi peti no ya mwye ya kaya mwensi ya kufadu shase so tabu umiechi kwa yiye kururu bide ya mbo umiye na ya shase kase kufadu ni uyi enyu panyini ntina fiye ya mantu kwenzi ya masebi unko taiba kwechi na unye de undi mabako ya kaya MPP for come presidential elections. Yeah, me can. I say, go for the chance. Move the home. No man can say, "Oh, me see, oh, me can." Say, "Oh, but you mean it, pa?" Alan Kennedy, but me, I na say one kumbi. I dey who say, "Oh, I party na." But go for the edge on people one. 
a constituency. Monto Mamma Hamadu Bowmia. Or no, and a you nipo bit me depreting in him. She said, A Lancashi dear, Sebi, won't me depreting in him. Only a Lancashi, a cofad, only a Lancashi, why in an inky deserves with the empty depreting in him. Because of Senna Wang in Tia Lancash paved a way for you, said Bra, na made him be depreting in him. Nanado, because of Senna Wang in Tia Lancashi, we said. The brapany and um alam cash taught it twice, you know. Okra y me brapany. It did let me give you the way so that after your tenure of office, I can come and you know replace you. But what happened? What happened? The opportunity that you Alan gave you to Alan gave it to you, no. And then one my Alan in the political career, yeah, basa. Because of Bomia, I'm going to do you. Bomia now sacrificing man and Bomia can never be a president in this country. Opa fasting baby and so on. Me me yet reveal who's been part. Now if you try to cook, I say oh, yeah, Papa reveal who's been part. So I'm going to say I'm going to say something about it. And I know said there is no way I'm going to put a baby with Bomia be a baby president because Bomia did draw in all the presidential candidates in Ghana after this fourth republic. Bumia ni dintro pa. Bumia ni dintro. It is on record. Bumia ni dintro. He is master liar. He has a a a a a. What can I say? What what what? PhD. When it comes to lies, or PhD, or pomo degree, or pomo masters, or pomo PhD, or where we or detract the one. And drop out where we did no position. Na ni nse bo mi abo bi we and trouble me the true position or my public lectures no you see public seminars na o kasa na wa fa no ye comparison e the dollar no me ba me chi no e me ba na ku fa do se din na fa o man ya ye bobo dodo ye ti sika se come die no mo e diga na fo che se no mo e diga na fo ntoro and track is here ye ba be fight gele mi se e gele mi se ye ba me the president but so along the line in fact e ne e ba di ne ye hu you people are very disappointed. You have disappointed Ghanaians. And then, when I'm saying, I'm going to be able to Ghana for you, who didn't mean Kosovo, in the echo. We are in the 27th, uh, 21st century. Do we know what is the best? We are in the 21st century, so we know what is the best. Kufado, you know, I'm going to be to position. I'm going to be able to get my muscle. You know, Sika mo bi ane ye, ule kufa duti ye ye. After ten years, any bit me prosecute to. The ten years you can we can guarantee either you are alive or you are not alive. Eno di by nature anye mi na meka. Inti ni yaku pombo ana se ten years mo alive. Ebi ana yenya president bi obedu ni Ghana na uabe wa shasi ya shwe wunse mo. Se inti sa su di ana chise di besi ane si inti ko na ko enjoy your money, your stolen money quietly. Na mo inti no posisi na mo sofa. Because for for share banks 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 about three hundred and four branches across the nation. A doctor Kwabnado for bank na yemutu at a mungwa na muti mididi. Mungkwane sebi muti mididi ya nakidu furata. Mungkwane tuku edamu muni mumudidi. And you can imagine, sabang siyo mguguni ina ano. The number of workers are mwashiro bojuma. And the mungkwane mbo. Seye nfwa bambu bomiya. And the mungkwane platform. So, oh, sisi finye nibi. Check in the person in the liti. Anyamu wa wache. Anyamu wa. Na mbompa yese platform. Be mungkwane ndakro. Oh, sasa abu yese mbogun. Estab. Mungkwane tronche gana fubi. Injimi yu, injimi ye, sebi ye wo maine hodo. Mamifo wisi, subscribe for the test abit. Iti ene ye, fye ni mo, show down edi ye beba, wati ya se inti. E ba ya mega, or be the first to report to you, wati ya se inti. Subscribe to your channel, like it, madi ene share, na hufo ye bi ufye. Minu ye be ma, revival mani, link in ewo description yuko, na kwe ye de, yuko subscribe to the channel, na stream ni nyo mno, on all the media, on all the social digital platforms, United States of America, United States of America, New York, 
Mami, I salute you. Nyanku pe ichira wati. Sounds like me papa. Eh, eh, Mr. Frimpong. Mr. Frimpong Philip. Also, a eh, United States papa. Nyanku pe ichira wati. Sounds like eh, me mami wo ye bi wo yuki. Mami nyanku pe nyo kese. Eni eh, me braba aku binsu wo Canada wo hebe pa bro. Nyanku pe ichira wata. Nyanku pe ichira pa umichira wo ichira wo ichira wo ichira wo. Eno bi piya hebe geti you know. I salute you. Mami fe wusi. Bidiyan mega makrao. Bye bye.